In this video, we're going to be going over the best render settings in FL Studio so that way you could get a nice high quality export of your music. I'll be going over both WAV and MP3 so you can get a lossless and lossy file format. And to start here, what we're going to do is go to File and Export. This will come up with your location where you want it to go. And it doesn't really matter what format you choose because you could change it here. So we're going to go over both WAV and MP3. Let's start with WAV. This is, of course, a nice uncompressed format. So this is usually what you're going to want your final masters of a serious project to be. Now up top you see the mode is set to song selection. You notice I had a loop of this playing in the background before. If you leave it like this, only what you have selected will play. So if you're going to export a final thing, make sure you have your entire track selected. Right now in this instance I don't, I don't have the drop selected, so this wouldn't render otherwise. And another important thing is tail. You can choose to either cut the remainder, leave the remainder, or wrap the remainder. Now cut means right when your loop ends, it's going to stop the audio file, like it's going to be over. And leave remainder means, like say there's a reverb tail at the end, it's going to let that play out. I think typically you're going to want leave remainder on when you're doing a mix down, because you're not going to want your track to abruptly end, especially if there's reverb, you're going to want it to go away naturally. Then of course you have your formats. We've selected wave here, which is uncompressed, and I'll be going over MP3 next. Now for bit depth, typically 16-bit is what you're going to do for a full song. This will be what you export. You'll want to use 32-bit float if you're doing something like stems or basically just audio files that you're going to use again in some form. But for regular music, 16-bit is totally fine. And then down here on the quality tab, we have resampling. Now FL Studio themselves just put out a video on this topic recently. And they said they recommend this one right here, 64 point sync, which is actually a bit higher than I've been using. I'm gonna make the switch. And they said that it's pretty hard to distinguish the difference between these high quality options. So it's totally fine to just use this one, which is the lowest of the high quality section. But you can of course choose the maximum as well. And I would if it's a final mix just to get it as good as can possibly be. But that's of course going to increase your render time a bit, which really isn't that much of a problem. Just let it render out. I would choose this. But if you want it to be a little bit quicker, you could choose this one. Now, any plugins that support what's called high quality mode, this setting will turn those on. And I believe these two are on by default. I would leave these. And on the last section here for miscellaneous, make sure that you have enable insert effects and master effects enabled here, of course. So that way, anything that you throw on those channels will actually show through in your render. If you have that off, you might be missing effects and it will sound different in the DAW versus when you render it. From this point, I think you're good to go ahead and render this as a WAV file, but let's go ahead and quickly look at MP3 as well. There's not too much to talk about here. The main important thing that's different is choosing bitrate. You see, the lower we go, it decreases your file size, and I think this is a very important thing to max out. I wouldn't go less than 320. And same deal with the mode and the tail, everything like that. Just make sure you've copied the settings from previously to your preference, and then you are ready to go ahead and render. Those are the best export settings for FL Studio that I would use. And of course, for a final track, like say you've made something you're going to release, I wouldn't do MP3. I would make it waves. So that way you have a nice uncompressed version.